Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meryl. If you're new here, hello. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. For today's video, I have this ColourPop palette that I haven't used in literally, I've actually, I've never used it. <laughs> and I just thought it was super pretty and I just want to try to play around with some of these colors. So let's uh, give it a shot. But we're going to start with our brows because I finally figured out how to use my Refi Brow product. Singular product because I don't think I need the other two. And I, I don't think you need the other ones either. I think you only really need the one product. So let's get into it. So I think I'm in love with the brow sculpt. I think that it does a fantastic job for the product that it is. Now the other two products, I mean you don't need to buy these. I think that this brow gel is unlike anything I've ever really tried before. It has such a good hold, really gives you the laminated look. But these two, I mean, this is a brow pencil and this is a brow pomade. You get away without these. You could definitely just get this. So I think this will be a repurchase for me eventually, but they're out of stock right now. Actually, I should sign up for the email to get back, to get notified when it is back in stock because I do really like this gel. Start with the brow sculpting gel. I still do wish that it was clear. I think that the white leaves like a little mark on my face if I put too much or like get it past my brows. Okay, we've got the sculpt on. So now you take this, apparently, you take this comb side first and then this little brush side after. slicked on. Now the way that I have found to love it is by taking a brow pen. It just works way better. You get the fluffy look. It's like more clean but fluffy like defined I guess is the word I'm trying to say. Not yeah de more defined because like with a brow pencil it's like kind of like nah but with a brow pen I'm like yes bitch. So now we just flick away. And this brow pen is quite dark. This is my Glossier Brow Flick. But it's all I have right now, okay? And you get a little close up look, see what it's looking like. And then you just keep flicking away until you're happy with it. Here's the first brow. Okay, those are the brows with the Burfi Brow Sculpt and my Glossier Brow Flick. And I'm so happy I finally figured out how to, to use it the way I want to use it. You know, the look I'm going for, I'm, finally, I'm happy I finally figured that out. So, that's that on that. I think we're gonna go... Are we gonna do... Okay, sure. Why not? We'll do eyes first because I just like when you do your eyes first, you can like clean it up the way you want it to, you know? So let's go on and do that. I'm gonna take this little NYX concealer, put it all over my lids, blend it out with this brush. This is a ColourPop E12, just like a nice firm brush. And then I'll go over with my sponge. I'm gonna set it using this Pat McGrath ah, powder. Time to go in with this palette. Um, hopefully it's pigmented. Oh, I. I won't clean my brushes in a while. I'm just gonna look for ones that look clean. <laughs> Future self. Okay, this is a palette. <laughs> this palette is called In a Trance, and I'm gonna take this pretty shadow right here. I haven't filmed for a while, so I feel weird. Like I can't form sentences. Anyways, this is called Future Self. And we're gonna put it all over our lid here. This is like early 2000s, like Britney Spears vibes. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna take Transcend Dance 
transcendent. Yep. It's like a bit shimmery, but who cares? We're gonna take this to the outer V. I have no clue what I'm doing. I've already said that now. Wow, that's really pretty. And this pigment, or what's my problem? This palette is far more pigmented than the peachy perfect one, or whatever the, whatever that one's called. Miss Bliss. <laughs> Not the, not the, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what are words and how do you make them better? <laughs> stop it, I have to stop. School, school's how you make them better. <laughs> I did go to makeup school, so. <laughs> wow, these two are super pretty. this purple and put it on the inner area and then we'll pop in this shimmer in the middle at the end why not I'm um, did get me I think I already said this but a little color swap thing you just like swirl your brush around and it's coming in pretty handy right now taking um own your power own your fucking power bitch this looks like a beautiful shadow too candy sky the purple cotton candy okay <laughs> we'll take it and then this shadow here is called clarity and it's kind of like a white bluey purple iridescent shifting duochrome multi triple triple chrome <laughs> is that a thing because that's what it is <laughs> This is like a super shock shadow, the texture of it. I'm sure it actually is in real life. I don't even know like what the... Anyways, I think it's a super shock, a super shock shadow. Why can't I speak anything? I can see so much glitter on my face. I'm super happy we decided to do the eyes first. I wish it would stick on my lower part of my lid there better what the doesn't pick up on a brush very well well that's for sure okay we'll just leave it there for now i'm gonna do the other eye i'll be right back this super shock shadow definitely feels like it's picking up the product that's already down which is super weird and annoying so that sucks ass it's so pretty. Okay, we'll do this. This one is called Mind's Eye. It's like a purpley blue. Oh wow, that's really pretty. That's like a mermaid. That's so pretty though. Okay, this palette, aside from that one shit shadow, is surprising me. Let's put on the rest of the products. Let's put on the rest of the face. Just going to moisturize. I'm taking my Jekka Black under eye corrector. <music> taking my Quilt foundation, and I'm just gonna be that person that just like squirts it on their face, but like not an insane amount because, dude, you don't need a lot. You do not need a lot. This is honestly probably too much. More concealer. Oh, where's my... Oh, I almost put this on as chapstick. Crossed my mind for a split second. sets in. I look very flat, you know, like very, your bitch needs some color. 
So I'm gonna set my under eyes and then put on my bottom water, bottom lash line eyeshadow. Jesus, Meryl. I'm just taking my CoverGirl True Blend powder. Since there was quite a bit of fallout with the first round of application, we're gonna definitely tap off the excess product and find a small dense brush, which will be this NYX 15 brush. I'm basically just gonna do the same thing to the bottom. I'm gonna be crazy use a powder. Who am I? I'm gonna take this little pretty vulgar nesting bitch face and take this nice shadow, nice shade down here. This is called Son of a Bee and it's just like a nice kind of cooler toned bronzer. Since we have a cool toned eye going on, let's uh, let's uh, continue that trend on onto the face. I never really use powder so I'm gonna take this brush this is my Real Techniques Multitask Cheek Brush. And we're really gonna just get it right up in here. It looked cooler in the pan in my eyes. Too late now. I'm gonna take this little Tower 28 blush in the shade Magic Hour. I really love this brush, <laughs> this blush. And it's a nice cool tone. One, <laughs> am I stupid? No. There's a lot of color going on there, damn. You bitch needs some color. I'm just gonna go over it because I look kind of clownish right now. Just pat over it. I'm gonna skip on the highlight today because we're fucking highlighted, dude. I think I'm gonna put on my eyelashes. I'll be right back. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, by the way. I got it in my BoxyCharm. Oh my god, I love it. I really, really like this mascara, people. Okay, lashes are on. These are my Allure by Arsh lashes in the style Allure. Oopsie. And these ones are by far my favorite. They're just so perfect and like fluttery and pretty. I just love them. They're not too long. They're just like the best. Now it's time for some lip. And I'm thinking, oops. Oh, that could be cute actually. Now I'm thinking something else. I just wish this bullshit lip liner worked, dude. This quo one, it was really pretty and now it's all fucked. Maybe I can bring it back to life? Oh, I did. Is my light dying or am I just like, is it not? I feel like it just got darker. Maybe I'm not, I don't know, maybe I'm fucking crazy. Oh, good news. Anyways, this is my quo pencil in Nuditude 52. Definitely got darker in here. Sorry if it's all fucked now. Whatever. All right, let's uh, wrap this shit up. Fuck, the light died. I knew it was getting darker, but we have this one, ring light, olden days, olden days. Actually, I've almost been on YouTube for a full year now. January 8th is my one year anniversary and I used to just use this ring light and I'm like, damn bitch, that is some harsh ass lighting. Oh well, we're at the end of the video here, so it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna take this lip gloss, and that was my Quo lip liner, and I'm taking now Wildflower from Robbie DeChrissy Times ColourPop. Damn, we got a lot of ColourPop in here today. Oh, I think that's my new favorite lip combo in the entire planet. Well then setting spray charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray this is the final makeup look oh, this lighting at the end is gonna be fucking trash this is trash lighting it's better. i think it's worse 
gorgeous, dude. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. All right, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it, had fun watching me do this little blue look. I actually really like the way that it turned out. Like I, like I said about 15 times, no, actually probably four, that I had no idea what I was doing, but I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. I think it's pretty cute. Um, y'all, y'all, what is my problem? What? I fucking ate shit down the stairs today at work and my shins are actually probably the same color as my eyelids i'm gonna insert a little clip here um i was carrying a tent down a couple stairs and i just fucking ate it and i made it down the first set and i was like okay meryl like slow it down here like think about it be careful and i just fucking ate it i ate it hard and i thought nobody saw me and then some guy got out of his truck and was like, oh my god, are you okay? I literally had just turned around and saw you fall. I was like, perfect, I love that. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm fucking fine, although I think my shins are bleeding. <laughs> there was only a little bit of blood. Oh, but the left one is far worse than the right. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. Give this video a little like if you liked it and share it around to your people if you so please i'll have my instagram here so you can check me out there i've recently gotten into reels okay um i've only posted three but i'm having so much fun making them i also put them over on tiktok so all my all my platforms <laughs> platforms like okay bitch you have like an inch off the ground on a platform <laughs> all of my social media accounts are at meryl's makeup so you can check me out there if you want to. Um, thank you once again so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!